So let's have a look inside now. This is where the main speaker removed. There's stuff in there. Um, we have the charge port over here. Then the flat band cable for those LEDs. This is the wire that connects the main speaker. Here we have the tweeter. Main board in there. Everything is glued in good that it doesn't fall off um, during vibration and stuff, right? Everything has silicon seals to make it super waterproof. I'm going to take a look at the seal here on the side in a minute. And very light, nothing in it. We have the battery removed. And let's go to the next step. So this is one of those passive radiators here. See this? It's easily removable. It has those pins in here, so when you put it together, it fits right in there. Only fits once. You have to make sure that it sits in here correctly. So when you plug it in, it has to be 100% fit. No gap here. See that? All right. And then this part here, with the round edge, aligns with this part. It only fits at one spot, one way. And it clips on like this. See this? And you need to make sure that all those clips here engage. Some pressure on from top. Now it's 100% open again. So if you want to get those things off, large electric screwdriver here and twist this way. Go to the next, twist that way. Go in here, twist that way. Over here, twist that way. So then you can get the end caps off. But I highly recommend to not do that. It's not necessary for anything to get that cap off. Now, next step, let's put that uh, speaker back in. Screw. Whee. Make sure the silicone seal is really correctly in there. There we have the driver. So that looks like, look at this, this is a very, very nice driver. Okay, let's connect this. Um, you can't just pull this off here. There's little tabs here. So when you click this in, you can't remove it again. Right? So if you want to pull this off, it doesn't work, you have to push on the clip and then pull out. It's the same on the little one here. Now, my fingers are not small enough to do that, but you would have to push in there to get this off. All right, and then we go in here like this. So, inserting the tweeter, this is an interesting little fellow because the connections of it, they go in here in those two clumps. So all you have to do is plug it in like this. Like that. And there it is connected. The seal was good. And now we need only two screws to to screw that one in. Very easy to remove and replace, but make sure that you don't touch it. And we don't want to avoid that under all circumstances. When you 
remove the battery or work on the battery. Make sure that you don't grab that one by accident and push on it. And the battery you're working on this side here. Let's have a look at the battery. It has a 18650 in it with a board on top here for the battery management. And look at this here. This is the connector to it. Um, do we know the size? There's the number, the model number. 10314A, 1INR2271, 3.63 volts, lithium ion energy, 17.43 watts, 4800 milliamp hours. That's big. That's a good battery. Now, in order to plug this in, we go this way. It's not glued in, you can just plug it in in there with your thumb and make sure it's connected and blocked in. If you want to remove it, you have to push the pin down and then pull out. So now the battery goes in here like this. And that's it. That's how fast the battery is replaced. Now we can put this part back on. So, we make sure that the seal is okay here. And then it gets clicked in here on this side. There's a little tab. So the tab has to go in here. This little tab goes here on this side, in here. And wiggle it around a little. Okay. Like this and see it's tapped in here because it doesn't come loose okay and then we have one two three four five screws that we need to put in All right, so this is uh, screwed in tight. Let's check if it still works. Oh, looks very good. Good speaker, really. So now um, the last thing we need to do is get the cover back on, on this side here. Okay, so. This one here comes in first. Oh. This one here goes in first. So those two go in first, okay? And then we just roll it in this way. Plug it in here. See this? There it is back together in one piece and we have them GBL Flip 7 the best speaker yet <laughs>